Today I'm going to show you how to launch a token on base from zero without coding and with the efficient and most cheapest method available right now within Web3. For creating our token, we are going to use Smithy Tools. Smithy Tools is a tool suite fully audited, okay, and used by hundreds of users per day that allow us to create our own token on base without coding. For doing it, you just need to go to tools.smithy.io, you will have the link in the description, and ensure that you have selected base. We are also available on Solana and Ethereum, but in this case, we are going to go for base. We just need to click on token creator, and here we can see the different information we need to create our token and the different options we have. We can create a token with tax and we can also apply different features available. The airdrop mode, the anti-bot and the anti-whale, okay? The base cost for creating our token will be 0.01 Ethereum. If we wanna add any of these options, which are actually useful, the anti-bot or the anti-whale, it will cost a bit more, but it will be done within a few seconds and as we said, without coding. So let's start directly with the process. We need our MetaMask wallet with some Ethereum, okay? Here I have mine. And we need to start filling the information of our token. We need to put the name, the symbol, and the supply. We will be able to add our image and some metadata later. But to start, we need this info. I will use Smithy, for example. Smith will be the symbol and the supply will be one million. We can also apply a tax, okay? This is the fee uh, that we will be getting on the wallet we select each time someone tries to transfer the token, okay? In every single transaction, we will get this fee. So I will use a 4% and the receiver wallet will be my wallet. You can change it if you want to. If we go to the advanced options, they are not needed, but you can select them. The other mode um, is a mode we apply to the token that doesn't allow anyone to make transaction with the token. It's used if we wanna make an airdrop, okay? You can also do an airdrop in here. We will make it on another tutorial. But basically, when you wanna make an airdrop and you don't want anyone to be able to create the liquidity pool or use your token, you can apply this airdrop mode. In this case, I won't use it. It's completely free. And you can deactivate the airdrop mode in here in Token Manager Tools, okay? The antibot basically, prevent bot for trading. It basically prevent bots because it doesn't allow any wallet to trade more than one time per block. As you should know, we have made bots and different kind of bots that actually take profit of our token and of our investor, but by applying this, we will avoid most of them. It will cost us 0.005 Ethereum. We can also apply the anti whale okay? And here we have different options which are kind of useful to avoid bots as well, but also to avoid whales. So I will apply anti-bots and I will apply anti-whale as well. We can set the token limits per trade. But it's basically the limit that anyone can buy or sell of a token. I will put um, 100,000, for example. We can also select the time limit per trade. This is a time frame that we will set between each time someone will be able to trade our token. Basically, if I buy the token now, I won't be able to sell it until these hours I said here pass. So I will put four, for example. I can also select the total limit per wallet. This is the maximum amount a wallet can hold of a token. So if I put here 100, uh, 500,000, for example, a wallet won't be able to hold more than this supply. And we can also set the maximum days that this feature will be available. Okay, we can select zero if we want, but we can also activate it for five days. You should usually apply this at the beginning of the token when, we, when you are launching it to avoid snipers and these kind of things. But anyways, you can select when to activate it and you can reactivate it later also if you want as well as modify these settings. So now the total cost will be 0.02 Ethereum because we have these two modes and features activated. So we click on create token and we will start the process. Here we can see the transaction, okay? This is the first one for creating the token that will cost at 0.01 Ethereum. And we are receiving 
1 million supply of the token we created. Also, we need to pay the fees that on base are almost nothing. This is the token address. Okay, we'll copy it and open it on base scan. Let me open it. Okay, here we have the second transaction. This is the transaction of the anti bot that cost us 0 0.005 Ethereum plus the gas fee. Okay, we confirm it. I'm opening also base scan in the meantime. Okay, now we have antibot and this is the anti well transaction. Again, 0 0.005 Ethereum. We confirm it and we will have finished our token creation. Perfect. We have success and now we have our token created with our antibot or anti well. Now, if we go to base scan and we open our token, okay, here we will see the contract address and here you can also check the smart contract. As I said, Smithy is fully audited, so your token smart contract is audited too. You will have a link in the description regarding this audit. And here you can see all the information, okay? The contract creator, this is our wallet, and this is the transaction of the token creation. Okay, here we can see it. How did it go? And here we have our token, okay, Smithy, 1 million supply, Smith, holders amount, total sulfur, etc. etc. Now, with this token ready, you can go to Miswap and create your liquidity pool. I will be making a video within next week on how to create a liquidity pool properly to make your token success, okay? But before finishing our video, let me show you that you can also make an airdrop in here in Smithy, and the most important, you can manage your token on Smithy. This allows you if you select the token, here you can deactivate the other mode if you had it activated. You can also create exemption for the tax. It means that you can make some wallets don't need to pay uh, the tax and also make another wallet, the diff a different wallet from the one you set to receive the tax. Okay, this is really useful. And I think one of the most important, you can blacklist addresses from trading. It means that you can block any wallet you want from trading your token. This is interesting actually. And also if you want, you can deactivate your antibot and also make an exemption for any others on the antibot and happens the same with the anti well. You can select it here your token and you can update the settings you had for the anti well and also for sure exempt addresses if you want exempt any wallet you want and you will need to deactivate and make an exception of the liquidity pool address. So this is how easily you can create your own token on base. Really cheap for only 30, 40 dollars so far. Really fast in just one, two minutes. And with all the options available we have for successfully launch our token. That's all for today. If you want to watch the next videos, remember to subscribe. I will teach you on how to successfully launch your own token on base. And that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.